Let's use the Movie Timeline Wizard to record a movie within SDK. The first thing we want to do is decide on the action that we want to record. Since this task is helping us learn how to use the Movie Timeline tool, I am going to record the first 10 minutes of my ISS's flight. So I'm going to uncheck to undisplay some of the objects in my graphics windows to clean them up a bit. The next thing I'd like to do is right click on the object that I'm going to record, my ISS, and zoom to it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and rotate around so that I have a nice view of the ISS. I'm going to click on the Stored Views button and create a new view and double click on the view name and call this Movie View and press Enter. I can click OK to dismiss that panel. So now when I go to record my movie, I can actually select that stored view as my camera path. Let's open up the Movie Timeline uh, toolbar. So go up to View on the menu bar, select Toolbars, and go down and select Movie Timeline. Let's open up the Movie Wizard by clicking the REC button on that toolbar. And now what we can do is walk down the left side. The first thing it's asking us is for the file name and format of our movie. I am going to select the format as Windows Media Format. I'm going to click Save As, and it brought me to my um, scenario uh, directory there, and I am going to call this Movie and click Save. I can go ahead and click Next, and it's going to uh, put check marks next to the options I've already selected. So now we're on to Window. It's asking me which window I'd like to record from. I'm going to keep it as the 3D Graphics window, so I can click Next. For Resolution, I am going to click the drop-down, and I'm going to choose HD 720p, and it resizes my 3D Graphics window. So if you have your 3D graphics window maximized in that integrated workspace, it will not be able to resize um, that window, so therefore um, it won't be able to record the movie. So make sure when you're choosing the resolution, uh, your 3D graphics window is not maximized. Go ahead and click Next. Um, now we need to choose the camera control path. If you click on None, Use Current View, it's going to use whatever is um, showing in your 3D graphics window when you press record. That's why I like to click um, select from list on right and choose the stored view, my movie view. Click next and it's asking us for the time and length of our movie. You can play around a little bit with this, but I know that I want to record the first 10 minutes of my flight, so I'm going to change the end time to 1 November 1610. And um, I'm going to record um, a movie that has a five second movie playback. So I'm going to change my movie playback length to five seconds, and then it automatically will update the step size. I can click preview speed here to see how fast or how slow this is recording, and then I can um, change uh, my step size or my movie playback length um, as needed. I'm going to click next. It's asking me about render quality. I am going to choose to have good quality for anti-aliasing, so it will smooth out the um, edges of my model and my lines, because um, I don't have that turned on right now in my 3D graphics window. I'm also going to choose motion blur. My satellite is moving very fast, so I'd like it to blur the stars and blur the land underneath my satellite, so it appears as if it's moving as fast as it is. I'm going to keep the off-screen render turned on so that if something's in front of my window, it's still going to record it. For um, quality, I'm going to keep it as high and click Next. Now, all I need to do is click Begin Record. Um, if I'm happy with the summary it's giving me here of all of the options I picked, I can always go back in the list and click something else to change it. So I'm going to click Begin Record. It's going to give me a status here of my recording. I can move this out of the way. And it's also, um, you can tell that my, it turned on anti-aliasing because my model is nice and smooth. And I can watch it as it's recording. 
The bigger or um, longer the movie is or the higher quality, it might take a little bit uh, longer to record, but that quickly in SDK, we were able to use this toolbar um, or tool to uh, create a movie. If you go to our website, agi.com slash resources, there are a bunch of resources um, and tutorials that will show you how to create more advanced movies, which may include um, articulations and things like that. So now it's telling me my recording is complete, and I'm going to click yes to play the recorded movie now. And very quickly in um, using that movie timeline tool, I was able to create this five second long movie.